Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Joe Borgen. This going to be a quick two-minute video coming at you from the Reading Royal Hockey Stadium as I'm getting ready to cover the game tonight on a quick video on the Twins bringing in Carlos Correa on a three-year deal. How about the Minnesota Twins? Three years, $105.3 million. Also bringing in Chichi Gonzalez to a minor league deal, adding into getting Sonny Gray in this offseason and others. The Twins seem like they're going for it, and you got to give them credit for going for it. They also bring in Gary Sanchez. In this offseason as well, Gio Yershella, which I talked about in another video, Alex Kirillov is going to continue to get better. Max Kepler is very good. Byron Buxton, when healthy, is one of the best players in the game. Their only thing is, can their pitching be consistent enough? Can Gray go back to being the old Sonny Gray? Can Maida be great? What is um, what is Bundy going to do? What is Belonzo going to do? So if those guys can be really tight for the Twins, their lineup is going to be killer. So it seems like they're going to be a really good team lineup-wise. Now it's about picking it on defense and being able to pitch it in the on the bump. And then this team is set. This is always a team that when they win, they tend to win more off of their offense than pitching and uh, fielding. But their fielding is honestly not bad. Buxton's a good fielder. Kepler's not a bad fielder. And Kirillov's not a bad fielder. They're not like the Phillies where they're all lineup based. And if you look at their defense, it doesn't look sexy. Their defense is actually pretty good. And their lineup is really good. It's just about now, can they get the pitching steady and consistent? But this definitely gets an A+. plus. Carlos Correa for three years, as you can hear the announcement in the background, to the Minnesota Twins for 105.3 million. This has been a quick video on Carlos Correa going for the Twins, uh, making the Twins an even bigger contender in a very good division in the Central this year. It's going to be interesting to see who comes out of that AL Central. As you got a lot of teams that made a lot of good moves in the offseason. You got the White Sox and you got the Twins and others. And it's going to be a fight to the end, I think, amongst at least three teams in that AL Central. Everybody have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These winners are going to 215 or more by the end of March. Thank you, everybody. Peace out. Stay safe.